Old Fast Marines videos are brought to you with support from Total Boat and from viewers like you. To support our channel, please subscribe and use our discount codes at TotalBoat.com. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome to Old Fast Marine, your local boat shop. Still here, but I don't know if you noticed this over here or not. We have that piece of Kusa cut and ready to lay in. I spared you all this because it was frustrating and annoying and aggravated me, but here's the gist of what I did. Um, I made my temp, oh, fat, Ugh. anyway, I made, <laughs> I made my template and uh, cut out this piece of Kusa three quarter inch and then had to get a bend into it. So what I did was I laid these two by fours all the way down on, uh, on a scribed line that I made screwed these two by fours down into the gunnel and then screwed the uh the kusa in now here's the thing um if you were going to just try and screw that kusa in all that weight would it would just pull the screw right through the kusa so what i did was i took um took a couple pieces of uh, wood here stuck them together and used it kind of like a washer to uh you know suck this in little screws at a time put a new screw in so on and so forth and then did the same thing here, screwed this from the outside in uh, to here. I had a two by four here um, to, uh, you know, lock it all together. Just remove the two by four. Um, I've gone ahead, you can kind of see a little bit here. I've gone ahead and I've cleaned this with the Total Boat uh, uh, surface prep. And now I'm gonna mix up some uh, laminating resin to uh, uh, at least get, whew, at least get this glassed in here. And then I want to go ahead and I want to at least tab in in between the screws uh, for right now just to hold it here um, because you can see there's a pretty good gap here um, and I want to fill that in but I didn't put any plastic over the two by fours on the other side so yeah so we're just going to do some little tabbing a couple layers of uh, Chop strand, same thing here will be chop strand because this still needs a whole layer of chop strand there. Um, but yeah, but so I ran out of the structural repair putty. I, I don't have any more. So what I do have is some silica or cabosil. I'm going to mix that with the poly resin to do a channel in there. And then we'll wrap that up and that's what you're going to see right now. All right, so I got my poly resin laminating. Shake it up. Um, it has been ridiculously uh, humid uh, lately. It's it's just awful. Um, yeah, uh, it's just humid. It's just gross. I don't like any of this. So we're gonna do about six ounces of this. Make a good paste. All right, I've just added my MEKP. Stir this up really good. I made a quick little popsicle stick there because I don't have any up here. I'll mix this up real good. You want to add your, your MEKP before you uh, add your cabosil or your silica. And you want to wear a respirator because that silica is bad bumming. <laughs> It's just like the uh, structural repair putty now. Mixed up more than I need as usual. So I'm going to take my patchouli here and I'm start. is 
is just mushing it into the corner there. I'm just using a chip brush, good old, good old chip brush to get this layer on. You could use a roller, for sure. So like I'm sure you've seen on other channels, what I like to do is kind of dry the brush out a little bit. There's a hard piece of resin back there. Um, dry the brush out a little bit and then come in and try and take out some of the air bubbles, which there are, you know, there's a few here or there. And grab another, got some scrap here. It's good to save little, save little chunky chunks of fiberglass because you never really know when you're gonna need them or where you're gonna use them. That's good. And we're gonna do a, because again, I still have to look out for that stupid screw, which I wish I could move, but I just can't. So I'm gonna get that guy in there. Got some 1708 cut here, and uh, we're gonna get that pushed in the corner down a little bit. This will make a nice, nice little tab in. Uh, stuff isn't. I thought this stuff would be kicking a little quicker than it is today, but it isn't, which is good, I guess, in a way. So you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. Um, this corner I'll let, you know, tack up for the week. Because um, with the laminating resin, we can come back at any time and right back over it. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this came up. That should hold this pretty pretty tight um, around the, the opposite side and, and hit that. Uh, wrap that around. Because um, like I said, I'm going to say it again, this is getting... Uh, two or three layers of chop strand and then the other side is going to get a layer of 1708 and a layer of chop um, and that should keep this pretty well stiff and tight um, I still have to cut the port side panel out get that all glassed in um, the roof is going to be done I think we're, I'm going to do it out of MDO I have two full sheets of Kusa left so I may do that but I kind of wanted the uh, the uh, side windows to be done at Akusa. That's the that's the hope anyway. But uh, that's another video for another day, and I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but hopefully it'll be soon. So again, uh, thank you everybody for watching. I know it was a quick video. If you have any questions, uh, please put them down in the comments. Um, if you guys want to keep using the discount code. I'll provide a link for the new discount code in the comments. <coughs> uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the bell notification because uh, I can actually see you when you subscribe. And I really like that. I uh, gained over 100 subscribers in just under 30 days. So thank you, everybody who's been subscribing. I'm super happy. Uh, it means a lot to me piece of fiberglass stuck in my hat anyway uh huge shout out again to total boat for sending me all this cool stuff um make sure you like us or follow us over on instagram we have a snapchat now that's a fun one um i'll put a link down below in the comments for that uh and again one more time thank you guys all so much for watching we'll see you next time